18 life. How fast can I kill somebody from 18 life? That's 9. That's 12. That's 17. Thirteen, so I have to do five extra, so we gotta do We need the sandstone charger. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some action siver, our next deck here for this rank up day that I wanted to try out again. We've played it one other time before and I was pretty impressed with it. So I wanted to kind of bring it back and see how it was. So it's it's action and Sivir, two champions that are very good at attacking. They've got their quick attack and everything like that. And the thing about this list is I'm going mono Shirima for golden ambassador. So I can draw those champions, draw action and Sivir and give them the plus two, plus two. They're both, you know, much, much better with that plus two, plus two. So that's like the main part about going Mono Shirima, making sure we get the, these Golden Ambassador hits all the time, drawing them for the plus two, plus two, um, instead of playing another region like Ionia, uh, you know, for Twin Disciplines, just going with that, because I think there's enough good cards in just Shirima that, uh, you know, we're able to do it with the Golden Ambassador. Also got Siphoning Strikes. Because both Sivir, Ruin Runner, they have the Spell Shield, and so Siphoning Strike's a little easier with those units with the Spell Shield, and so that can even buff up our action in Sivir even more. Um, let's see. Because we're Mono Shirima, we're also playing Buried Sun Disk, and uh, Buried Sun Disk doesn't really do very much in the deck, but it does just... It's the very... Uh, the reason to play this is because we get to kind of cheat on how many cards we're playing. Instead of a 40-card deck, which is what is required, we're, we are essentially playing a 39-card deck. And so that's just, you know, 1 40th of your deck just taken away. So that just gives you a little bit higher percent chance of drawing your actions and drawing your Sivers um, and your Golden Ambassadors and, like, these cards that you want. Hunt, Merciless Hunter, Quicksand, Treasure Seeker, Ruin Runner, right? Like, those are, like, the strength of Shirima. And so you just have a little bit higher percent chance of drawing all those cards that you want because you just have one card out of your deck um, and into your hand. So it's it's half of a Preservarium just at the very beginning of the game for absolutely nothing. And so we just have one Sun Disk in here. Now, what can it do for us? Well, we we can play it to enable Shapestone if we want also. So that's that's something that if we want to spend a mana to make sure that our Shapestones are enabled, we got that. But we don't have to. We I'm not planning on playing the Buried Sun Disk very much. Um, but it is there, and so it's just it just allows us to play a 39 card deck instead of 40. Um, now, is that more powerful than playing Twin Disciplines? Maybe, maybe not. But like by uh, by doing that, we're gonna 100% hit on Golden Ambassador also, and so that's kind of the plan. All right, so let's give it a try. Let's go head on over to rank with this Mono Shirima deck with Action Sivir. Okay, so they're playing Zed. They get the Lifesteal Barrier also with I Ionia, so Twin Disciplines and Lifesteal Barrier, two awesome cards. Love Quicksand, hate Ride and Negation. Um, we'll have the Rock Hopper, but yeah, so Golden Ambassador is going to be an important card for us. So Quicksand can be really good in this matchup at times. So the problem with playing action right here is like I play action, they play Merciless Hunter. I guess I have a free kill on the Reaper then at that that point. So maybe that's not too bad. I could also play the Vagabond, but if Vagabond playing it later advances that thing two rounds. No, I'll go ahead and go with the action. I bend them slightly. This is justice. I was gonna say they'd have to be pretty scared of like Shapestone or something also. Alright, there's the Merciless Hunter. 
Which I don't know why I was thinking... Hmm. Interesting. Okay, they just want to do six damage to me? Okay. Man, that one extra mana for the quicksand would... You know, I wish wish we had... Quick, quicksand mana. But we're one short. And one short from... Siphoning Strike, they use Barrier, then Quicksand. It's a living. Danger pace. You've got a problem, I've got a price. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. It ended up being a pretty close game. Would I rather kill the Reaper or the Young Witch? If I go Siphoning Strike. No, maybe I'm just gonna pass. Business as usual. So that's six and puts me down to six. Terrible things. The order rewards us. Cool eye patch. Do you like it? Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. Definitely considering the grant all allies plus one plus zero. No. I don't know. Maybe we should have. Yoink. Problem, of course, is getting rid of this spell shield. They've really been playing and representing the lifesteal barrier quite a bit. And quicksand is for the barrier, but I can't... Ugh, can't get rid of it through the spell shield also. I guess force him to have it. We can only go to 20 life. Let me do that one first. There's so many cards over there. <laughs> That's the reason you don't play ranked. Yeah, I mean, I, I like playing the labs more myself as well. Yeah, that's just the, the one thing I can't stop is that spell shield barrier. Barrier. So I said at the very, very beginning of the game, the barrier was like the one thing I couldn't stop. Well, what do you mean I have to pop the spell shield with what? I guess like siphoning strikes? Like the only like there's nothing else to pop the spell shield with. Like or or do I just kill one of these things with siphoning strike? Like I'm gonna cast siphoning strike. Do I, do I kill one of these or do I just get rid of spell shield? So y'all are saying just pass. But they just ghost this thing, then I lose. Right? Like I think I have to siphoning strike the sivir right there, don't I? Why are y'all saying pass? Out here, you're moving or you're dead. Oh, but now they have two things for the Spell shield. I don't. I don't care about killing the Reaper. I don't care about the Reaper at all. Saw that a mile away. What I care is ghosts. That's, that's the. That's what I care about. That's why I needed to do that on the Sivir before. But now they played the Rune Runner. Now if they have Rune Runner plus Ghosts, I was going to lose either way. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. So I was going to lose either way. All right, so they had they had the two cards that I couldn't handle: the barrier, then ghost. Ionia. That's what Ionia gives you is better spells, especially twin disciplines. 
but Barrier and Ghost are awesome in Sivir Mirrors. So we're playing Lulu Darius this time. This should be... Send these back. This should probably be an elusive deck. Yeah, so no, no matter what I was doing that game, I was losing with with them having another huge spell shield unit and, and everything. We were we were losing that game. But probably needed to probably needed to try to pop that spell shield earlier. A one of spirit fire would be good in the deck. Spirit fire that gets rid of spell shield. Yeah, I guess it does. You know how it is. This is justice. Does feel like we're missing like just twin disciplines, and so maybe Maybe you have to play Ionia. I don't want to play Ionia though. <laughs> because I I don't know. Everybody plays Sharima Ionia. I want to do something different. But not have yeah, like twin disciplines is heck of a card. And so it has felt like we are uh, missing like one. Um, what's it called? We're missing like a, a, a way to target, right? Like we we don't quite have enough ways to target our our units. It doesn't feel like. Correct. Sun disc thins the deck. We're at nine. We also, I mean, we we have spells in the deck, don't we? How many spells do, am I playing? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so we're playing fourteen. We're playing fourteen spells in the deck. We've also drawn one out of ten cards, and it's fourteen out of thirty-nine. So it's not like we don't have spells. Stands beneath me and winds behind me. I just have to play Merciless Hunter this round. Okay, they gave a barrier. No, I wanted, you know, obviously playing the Sivir was probably like the best thing, but I kind of had to play the Merciless Hunter. Okay. They didn't play into my Merciless Hunter, unfortunately. I was hoping they would play like a an elusive that then we'd Merciless Hunter. I I agree with you. Kissian says spell shield is an is an annoying concept that I don't think they are costing appropriately. Yeah, I, I think that this game was better before Spell Shield. I think Spell Shield is is a net negative on the gameplay and just everything. And I think it would make sense for Spell Shield to be like a one round thing, like Barrier is, but that it's just always you just have it for the entire game. I just think Spell Shield makes people a lot more mad than what it than the enjoyment level that it brings. All right, so the good thing about that is that they are doing dam enough damage to kill the Sivir, but not, you know, they're not trying to kill me, so that's good. I do not break rules. I bend them slightly. Villains beware. Let's try this before they're able to put the barrier on the Lulu. Maybe doing that predict first. But I also kind of want to see what happens before I predict draw a card. But maybe we, maybe I'm supposed to do that first to look for like a quick sand in case of a barrier. You can thank me later. Okay, so 
yeah, it was just quicksand is what I need anyway. No quicksand. Playing the Golden Ambassador to take a card out of my deck, so it's just a little bit more likely that I draw quicksand. There it is. So you keep thin in your deck enough, you'll find what you need. Yep, that tasted purple. Hopefully. At least that's the hope. So you can block there, you block there. I know what I'm worth. I'm not keeping up Ryan Negation by playing the Sivir. I guess this technically doesn't kill me, but it go down to one. Saving four life by using that. Silver will still die though, but just say four life by to use that. I don't want to die to a random one damage thing. The Overwhelm would have only dealt 3 damage. Like, if I would have used the Absolver on that, that action, it would have only dealt 3 damage. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. Honor is the rust on a dull blade. Danger pays. Wow, okay. Alright, so do I get punished for... No, it does not look like it. Let's say, do I get punished for, for wasting the quicksand? Like, if they would have a ghost, you know, ghost is what I'd be worried about. Out here, you're moving. Why am I playing that? If they just have... If they just had Decimate, I would just be lose. It's not like that card. That card doesn't matter. It's a living. Okay. Okay. Little, little loose there. With a smile. But ended up with the win. Sivir doesn't block very well at three. I'm gonna just send it all back. Looking for earlier stuff. I could like the golden ambassador could be kept, because then that's gonna be like ambassador on four. Give me like a five health. No um, Sivir, but I like this a lot more. I mean we need we need our early stuff for this matchup. Basically getting this Warlord's Horde countdown started a little earlier. I don't mind blocking with action and having it trade when we needed to. So this is two extra damage by blocking here. Hopefully I can keep that two damage. Oh, I played into that. I forgot about that card. Alright. I forgot about that card. Yep. Hey, yeah, Sundis just chills. Don't worry about Sundis. He's just chilling. In 
spell mana or nah. Let's go spell mana. Okay, ready. Oh, come now. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. All right, no warlord's horde for me. On the seven. Yuck. So 18 life. How fast can I kill somebody from 18 life? That's nine. Another decimate. That's 12. That's 17. Okay, so this attack, they block the 6-1. Okay, so I need to do 5 extra damage. They're going to take 4, 8, 13, so I have to do 5 extra, so we got to do... We need a sandstone charger. I know what I'm doing. Alright, GG's. Don't get ahead of yourself. I know what I'm doing. Finish that up pretty quick. Yeah, I was just seeing like Sandstone Charger, the plus one plus zero. Those are like different options, but yeah, Sandstone Charger is just the way to go. Gangplank Sejuani. This is a good deck. Doing all their plunder stuff. I think kind of like last time I could just send all these back. I could see keeping the Golden Ambassador this time, though. They're not quite as aggressive, but still pretty aggressive. Gently, gently. <laughs> All right, good hand. We got our Treasure Seekers. No, never mind. Treasure Seekers backfired. Got it. Well, they're 40% of the way leveled up. <laughs> That's not great. I wanted to play the Vagabond to get that started. That's right. Run! But I feel like I need to kill this monkey idol. They're not getting free monkeys. I These are no free monkeys. All of this is ours. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. No free monkeys. So, like, Gangplank's probably the best thing they can play. And so, how do I want to, like, still add to the board so I don't waste my mana yet can still do a good job blocking a Gangplank is the question. It could just be Ruin Runner. I would like to play, um, you know, ac Action and vag Vagabond. So this action's a 4 4. Still have, you know, Absolver, I suppose. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. I save spell mana. Next round, I'm F6. Cool eye patch. You like it? I mean, shut up and fight! That's pretty good. The old Grifter draws two and a warning shot. Draws three. You've got a problem. I've got a price. Yeah, they got they got harpoon. 
I don't like our chances here. Not at all. They they did a great job leveling up their champions. So yeah, against, against those level up champions, do not like our chances here. Maybe they don't have their champions. So I decided to attack and trade mostly because that will help get a lot more damage in to level up the Sivir. And I'm going to save the spell mana now. But man, they got a lot of cards. I don't, I don't know how I'm beating Sejuani. If they can just, if they have more like warning shots that frostbite my my team all the time. I don't think Soraka Brahm was really weak against anything. We lost one mirror match and the other three matches. I think that we were favored, but my opponents just had better hands and it just didn't work out. Just not a not a lucky day. But there wasn't there wasn't a single matchup that I didn't that I didn't think I was favored in besides the mirror match. Like this one I don't think I don't think we're necessarily favored in this matchup. That old trick again. That worked out really well for them that it didn't it, they would have hit my nexus then they would have frost bit these things so that then my my sandstone charger Would have definitely not been frostbite, and I could have gone like Ruin Runner, also not frostbite and stuff like that. But now they still have the opportunity to frostbite everything. After them. That worked out really well for them. Yeah, I think it's a I think that's a pretty safe assumption that they do not have warning shot. What you want without mercy. That's a pretty safe assumption. Bilgewater is mine and mine alone. And that's it. All right, two and two. Yeah, like, I don't think we're favored in that matchup, but especially not for how easily they leveled up their champions and then also had their champions. Great hand. This, I did play the Soraka Braum also four days ago. That's up on YouTube. If you want to see some some more Soraka Braum, Soraka Braum gameplay. Are we facing the same matchup again? No. our chances we have round two action I don't think we had round two action last time so maybe that will make a difference They missed allegiance. That's a that's too bad. Uh, but of course that gives them a good blocker that uh, for my three three. Let's get to it. Gather round 
gather out. Not a chance. Man, do I waste the quicksand to keep them from getting plunder this round? Maybe not. Honor is the rest on a dull blade. Yeah, this is not a good matchup. But our opponents really making that deck look very good. Chase what you want without mercy. It's a living. I even thought about that. Like that's the kind of the bad part about like actually um, blocking and keeping your unit alive is because it, it really helped enable that parlay. This is a clinic. I talk to spirits. These are my gonna make a meal of them. Keeping the quicksand available. I don't know why I made that thing vulnerable, because they're just gonna challenge here, aren't they? Hey there. Don't mind the knife. Wanna play the treasure seeker? What am I doing? Hard to get rich. We love it when they run. Monkey Idol. Monkey Idol. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'm missing Spearfire. Yeah, that, that could be the thing. That was mentioned earlier for another one that we do struggle against the decks that go wide. Uh, like this, that have a ton of interaction. Actually won. One step closer to a world without villain. I didn't even realize that we're that close to, to killing them. Okay, so that was our action sever sun disc deck with Golden Ambassador. To be honest, okay, so I like you know this deck's good. Action and Sivir are both very good. Golden Ambassador's good, but to be honest, uh, putting Ionia in the deck would make it better. Just just adding in a little Ionia for a couple of the broken Ionia cards. Um, really would make it better. You know, Twin Disciplines is is the best spell in the entire game. You know, as far as spells go, it's for the mana cost, the versatility, what it does. This is the most efficient and best spell in the, in the game. And so you should probably be. So you know, we could just th throw it in here. Probably should be playing that. You know, we have uh, not quite enough spells. It really felt like for an action deck, not quite enough. And so. I guess we could, you know, and that would obviously replace the Sun Disc, and then, you know, you wouldn't play Sun Disc anymore. And then, then you can have, like, Barrier Lifesteal, which we saw that first game, Barrier Lifesteal and those kind of Sivir matchups, and just aggro matches in general, even against, like, that Gangplank Sejuani, uh, you know, Barrier Lifesteal could really help out as well. So I guess putting in some Ionia cards it would definitely be better, you know. So I'll just make it a normal action Sivir that everybody else is playing, so. All right, uh, that's what we kind of learned today. But I, I like the cheekiness of being able to play a Sun Disc and just cheat on how many cards you have in your deck. All right, but that's going to be it here for Action Sivir. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of this version of the deck. Um, you know, even compared to Ionia, anything like that, feel free to leave those comments. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.